All right, guys, so uh, previous lesson, we actually worked on Yasmin's forehand getting the top spin. And then, you know, we just start hitting and I looked at her slice and I was like, wait a second, <laughs> we got to work on your slice too. I won't say it's bad necessarily, but it could be a little bit more work. Although she doesn't rely on it very much, so she hits quite nice back in her but two-handed backhand is so good, amazing. So she really wins a lot of points by using her backhand. But the, when we looked at the slides, we saw a couple of things we could work on. So we'll throw another session on her and see how it's gonna help her out. So her main concern was that her left hand stays close to her body, which I find a lots and lots and lots of people doing it. And then when she hits, she opens up a little bit on her backhand uh, slice as well as she gets up a little bit. So we're gonna work on her staying low and making sure she's staying sideways at the point of contact by bringing her left hand backwards as she's gonna swing at the ball. Let's see how it works. All right, you guys, so uh, in the first one, we're gonna make it very simple so she, she has time. In between shots, you can do it yourself as well. You can feed the ball yourself or you can ask somebody to do it for you. Uh, so she's gonna focus on bringing her left hand back and making sure she's staying sideways throughout the swing. And let's see how it works. We're gonna give her a few, few balls to hit and see if it works well. Here we go, Yasmin. Sideways. There you go. Make sure your left hand goes further back. There you go. And go through the ball. All right. Accelerate your racket. There you go. One more time. Accelerate it. There you go. All right. We're going to do a few more tries. Uh, see me. Make sure you're accelerating a little more. There you go. Faster. Accelerate through the point of contact. There you go. Perfect. Again. All right. Get back behind the baseline. There you go. Accelerate. There you go. Nice. One more time. Perfect. Do it again, get back behind the position. And there you go. See how you, when you accelerate your racket through the point of contact, you keep keeping the ball a little bit lower. All right, so after the first drill, you can repeat and repeat that drill until you see good results. Like you saw four or five balls in a row was coming low and nice. Uh, now we're gonna go and do live ball and see if she can do the same swing, keeping her left hand going back and staying low on her uh, backhand slice. All right, guys, so we're going to go with the live ball now. Let's see how she does on her one uh, slice back in. There you go. Uh, nice. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. Good deep slice. There you go. That's okay. Make sure you don't open your racket. Stay with the little bit close. There you go. Nice. Accelerate a little more. There you go. Nice. Uh, uh, uh. Excellent. Oh, too good. Awesome job. All right, Yasmin, good job. Let's give a racket high five here. Uh, so now, next drill, what we're gonna do, she's gonna go from her backhand to the slice. You could see she got a really nice rhythm. She start hitting really good slices. Uh, it looks much, much better in my opinion. But now we're gonna see if she can go from her two-handed to the slice, which is challenging because you rely on your strong shot and then you have to go with something that you're working on. So let's we'll see how she does in that one. Too good. Woo! Killed it. All right, I think she did really good. And then the last, last one, if you feel that you went through all the stations, you're doing really well. The last one, we start on a cross court backhand. As soon as one of us hits slice, we play the point out. All right, sounds good. Let's see how it goes.
Looks really nice on camera. Huh? Looks really nice on camera. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to see Yasmin coming back to you, our YouTube channel, please comment below, say, I love that girl, I want her back on our YouTube channel, whatever you guys like, or just put like thumbs up, whatever you guys want to. And you're going to see her again on our YouTube channel. With that said, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and also watch Instagram. We have so many stories going on every single day. Thank you.